Welcome to the Dungeon Guide for the Fell Court of Troya. There isn't anything special about the trash, so we're just going to get right into the first boss. To start with, this boss will give you lots of adds that need to be AoE down. After the first pack dies, a second will spawn with some additional minions along the arena edge. The minions on the edge will cast glowing orbs that shoot line AoEs through the arena. Sidestep these to stay safe. In the next pack, there will be more line AoE orbs, but this time you will also be given personal AoEs. Make sure to spread out while still dodging the lines. After that pack dies, more line AoEs will spawn, but this time there will be evil dreamers covering the arena with circle AoEs. You need to kill a dreamer that isn't in the path of a line AoE to avoid getting hit. Finally, the main evil dreamer will spawn and begin casting Endless Nightmare. The boss needs to die before this cast goes off. As he is casting, he will spawn more heads. These heads will show a circle AoE around themselves, then the boss will spawn more minions that are chained together. These chain minions will begin moving towards one of the circle AoEs on the map. When they reach their destination, they will explode in large AoEs that cover much of the arena. To dodge this, identify which spot they are headed for and get as far away as possible. Our second boss is Beatrice. Eye of Troya will cause a huge eyeball ring to slowly shrink in the arena. When it fully shrinks in on itself, a massive eye will pop up over the spot the circle finished shrinking at. You need to be sure you are looking away from it, otherwise you will be afflicted with a debuff that will kill you. Beatrice's scorn will cause the boss to cast four lines on the ground. These lines will show where AoEs will spawn and the AoEs will go off in the order the lines were cast. To avoid this, stand on the outskirts of the first line and then after it goes off, move into the first area to dodge the rest of them. Hush is our friendly neighborhood tank buster. Tanks make sure to use a defensive. Blade Shaker will cause the boss to cast a cone AoE in front of her. Move out of this and then spread out to avoid taking damage from the personal AoEs that spawn. At the end of the fight, Eye of Troya will be cast again, but this time there will be multiple rings. This will be immediately followed up by Tonic Void. Tonic Void will cause multiple donut AoEs to spawn on the outside of the arena. To dodge all of this, start in the center next to Beatrice while looking away from the eyes. After the outer AoE goes off, move to the outside while still looking away. To cap all of this off, there will also be personal AoEs that spawn, so make sure to stay spread out. Finally, Beatrice's Scorn is a stack-up marker that needs to be soaked. Her final boss is Skarmiglione. Cursed Echo is an unavoidable raid-wide AoE that will put a dot on all party members. Rotten Rampage will cause multiple circle AoEs to spawn in lines around the map and personal AoEs to spawn on each party member. Spread out and find a safe spot. Blighted Bedevilment will cause the boss to cast a pushback spell. Either use your anti-pushback ability or stand in front of the wall that's positioned around the arena. Blighted Blade Work will cause the boss to point a laser at a spot in the arena. A very large circle AoE will spawn at that spot, so move yourself to the outside of the arena on the opposite end of the laser to avoid it. After the boss casts this, she will land and cast Blighted Sweep, which is a large frontal AoE. To avoid this, run to the boss as soon as the cast starts and get behind her. Fire Damp is our tank buster here, use a defensive. Next, the boss will cast Creeping Decay. This will cause a bunch of adds to spawn and the boss will start storing power. You need to kill the adds before the power level gets too high or the group will be wiped. As you are killing the adds, circle AoEs will spawn around the arena with an open spot in the middle. Each party member will then get a personal AoE around themselves. Wait in the middle for the arena's AoEs to go off, then move away from each other to handle the personal AoEs. After the adds die, be prepared to heal through some significant damage. Near the end of the fight, the boss will again cast Bedevilment, only this time it will also be followed up by a stack up marker. Group up to mitigate damage. And that's it. If you enjoyed the guide, please support the Mort by liking the video and subscribing to my channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.